Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, Google Calendar. The top 10 tasks completed fast, fast, fast for those interested in becoming a Google Certified Educator Level 1. Number 1. Share Calendars. So first on the list, we're going to learn how to share a Google Calendar. Here are my list of calendars below. Let's take a look at Practice Calendar. I'm going to click this More icon, and you'll see Settings and Sharing. Now, if I'd like to share this calendar, I'll scroll down. And if you look here, it says Share with Specific People. You can add a person's name. Enter in the name and press send. You can also share this calendar through getting a shareable link. I press this icon right here. I'll copy this link. And if I paste the link up top, here you have a view of the calendar. And lastly, you can make this calendar available to the public by clicking this icon here and it'll be visible for everybody to see. I'm going to cancel that. Number two, add new calendars. Next up, add a new calendar. If you'd like to add a new calendar, you can go right here where it says add a friend's calendar or add other calendars. So I'm going to click this create new calendar and I'm just going to name this the new calendar this is an example and I'll place that in for the description and simply create calendar press this right down here calendar creation in progress new calendar has successfully been created let's go back to our calendar and here you see the new calendar has been created Number three, edit a calendar. Third on the list is to edit a calendar. So let's pick a new calendar here. Let's, let's say I pick uh, the uh, SAT calendar. If I want to edit this, I'm going to click this more icon, settings and sharing. And for me to edit this calendar, all I have to do is go down the scroll down and you'll see all different things that you can edit. For example, here maybe you want to edit uh, event notifications. You can get it by scrolling down or you can press over here, maybe remove calendar, general notifications, calendar settings is at the top. You can edit the description, edit the time zone. You can change the name. Maybe I want to change the name from SAT prep class to just SAT prep class uh, today. Now that's been changed. And if you look, there's, there's a lot of different things you can do. Number four, create an event. Now let's say I'd like to create an event. It's, it's very easy. You can click on any one of the days. So let's say I click on the 20th and all you have to do is click on the day and there you have an event to create. Um, let's say baseball practice. You can add a time. We'll say from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock. And press save. And now you've created an event. So the one way you can do it is by clicking on the date. Another way is to click on this red create event icon below. Looks like a red plus sign. And this gives you a little bit more options. So let's say this is um, soccer practice. And you have the choice of making it all day. You can say it repeats. That means does it, rep does it repeat um, weekly on Thursday, monthly on the, third, uh, on the third Thursday, annually, or you can even customize it. Again, you can edit the times. Let's say we make it from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Adjust the notification here. Do you want a regular, uh, do you want an email notification, push notification?
Number five, invite people. Let's click on this event here. I'll click on the little pencil icon. And if you want to add this person, you simply type in this person's name or select it from below. And now you have a couple options here. Can the guest modify the event? Does the guest have the option to invite others? Do you want them to see a guest list? When you're finished, simply press save. Would you like to send invitations? Send. Number six, use appointment slots. Okay, next up is appointment slots. And now you're not going to be able to do that in uh, a calendar that's not either a school or a work a G Suite calendar. So I'm going to go to a school calendar here. You have to actually be under um, weekly or daily. Okay, look at the previous one. This is month. It's not going to work in month. It has to be here. And you simply click on the time. And if you want to go to appointment slots, you can title it. You can go appointment click on appointment slots you can actually change the time maybe from four to six for two hours you'd like to see what it looks like here make sure you click on appointment slots um, you can set reminders and how long of appointments uh, do you want to set 30 minutes 25 minutes I'd say stick with 30 minutes and then just click uh, click save and your event has been saved. Now, if you look on my calendar here, it says appointment from four till six. Everybody can see it. I can click on it again. I can edit. Here it is. And if I want to delete, I can simply right click and delete and it's gone. Number seven, set notifications. Next up is to set notifications. So let's take a look at what calendar we want. Let's say we want to talk about the, the new calendar. This is the one we'll be working on. So we're going to select this one, options for new calendar, settings and sharing. And we're talking about event notifications. You click over here, it'll scroll you down. And should I add notifications? Let's see, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. There you go, 20 minutes. Do you want to add a notification for an all day event? How many days before? Look, one day and at 9 a.m. And there's other notifications if you scroll down, such as general notifications, new events, saved, uh, changed events. What type of notification do you want for new events? Someone sends you an invitation to an event. Would you like an email? Yes. Number eight. Create tasks. Okay, now we're on number eight, which is tasks. Now, if you want to work with Google Tasks, you'll see right down here. Here it is. If you click this icon, your tasks open right here. Okay, and if you click it again, they go away. Now, to create a task, as you see here, I already have a task list. If I want to create a new task, this is called the second task list. Let's go to the everyday list. So here's my everyday task list. And if I want to add a new one, I just simply click and I can type in a new task, which is, um, let's say, uh, do a workout and you're done. It's been added and we'll close up tasks. Number nine, organize tasks. Now, let's say you want to manage and, and edit and organize your task list. Again, you have to click tasks, which is in your calendar. And if you want to organize this and, and, and uh, you know, work with this thing, there, there's a couple things we'll, we'll go over here. First off, some actions. You maybe can move things up and down from the task list. So this is do a workout. Maybe you want to move it up. Now it's up here. Maybe you want to take this task and you want to actions. Let's say you want to move it all the way down. If you look at the detail here, it says go to work, then check email. So let's click, uh, let's see, uh, take son to school. And let's edit the details. 
So it says don't forget lunch and permission slip. You can go back to the list and now that's been added as well. You can organize different lists. Here you have one list. Here you have another list. And here you have the everyday list. Let's say you want to delete a list. Let's say you want to delete a list, second task list. Okay, if you would like to delete this list, just delete list. Yes, it's permanently deleted. You can create a new list. You may create a new list simply here. This is the new list. Okay, and add some tasks to it. First task, wake up. Second task is brush teeth. And you should have, a, a, you know, you should have things besides this, but you know, this is just here for now. Number 10. Print a calendar. And lastly, let's say you would like to print your calendar. Simply go to settings and you'll find all the way down at the bottom. Print option. Press print. And, and here it is. You can change the font size, smaller, normal, and the most important thing is print range. So you can go from here, we're going from June to August 5th, but you can actually change that. You can go maybe um, June 5th now, and it'll be a total of two pages. So you're able to customize your printing. And right now, I would okay, just like so to say thank you for thank your you time for and subscribe review. to this channel.